biggest challenge has to be just being able to get live crawfish. Devon Seamster, the manager of LA Boiler Seafood, says fishermen typically catch about 30 to 40 sacks of crawfish at a time. But this year, it's a little different. They're just not catching enough crawfish. They'll have 500 traps, like 500 acres, and be bringing back like three sacks. Darren Pizzolatto, manager of Tony's Seafood in North Baton Rouge, says they're getting a late start. During a normal season, sales begin around late December, early January. A little bit back in summer, the hard drought that we had, the high heats we had, then of course we just had a hard freeze re very recently, so it's all Mother Nature, it's all nature related. Although crawfish is a huge food staple in Louisiana, Seamster says foot traffic has been slow. Because we don't have any live crawfish and we only have frozen, people scared to come try the frozen and nobody wants to spend you know, $16 on one pound of crawfish. <laughs> Pizzolatto says it's impacting everyone in the multi-million dollar industry so much that Republican Louisiana Congressman Clay Higgins is requesting federal assistance for the state's crawfish industry. It's not just the crawfish, the seasoning companies, everything is affected with crawfish. Crawfish is a big thing in Louisiana. Crawfish prices have doubled since 2023, going from $5.99 to $10.99 per pound. You might even find live and boiled as high as $14.99. And Easter's early this year, you know, it's in March this year, so that's going to affect it. Easter's a really big time for crawfish, but it, you're just not going to have the quantity and the price. You know, expect it to be a little bit higher this year. Crawfish sellers say prices could go down as early as March. Sydney Sumo, NBC Local 33 News.